Hello YouTube, it's Balamore here, back again with more Blind Gaming and a new LP for the channel. Hooray! This one's called Vampire Survivors for the PC, of course. I'll put a link down below in the description. As usual, it'll take you right out to the Steam Store page where you can pick this up for very cheap, at least at the time of this recording. This is in its beta form, I believe. It's not the full release. So if you don't pick it up now, it'll only go up in price once it, you know, turns into a full game. And this is so addictive and fun. At least to me it was. I wanted to do it for my channel. The type of game it is, I don't normally play these on my channel. But like I said, it was very fun and I wanted to go out of my way to play this uh, um, for you guys. I have played this, clearly. Um, this is not one of those games where I haven't played it. So I'm going to be showing off a whole bunch of stuff. So don't be surprised by most of the things are available. Anyways, let's go out to the Steam Store site and see what the story is about. I'll meet you guys back here. Mow down thousands of night creatures and survive until dawn. Vampire Survivors is a gothic horror casual game with roguelite elements where your choices can allow you to quickly snowball against hundreds of monsters that get thrown at you. Okay guys, so that was basically the gist of this game. There's going to be tons of monsters, almost like Gauntlet. Not really, but it kind of reminded me of Gauntlet. On the old Nintendo system. I don't know if any of you out there have played it before. But before we begin. You know we need to bring out the main host himself. Lucifer the Dark One. Ooh, the word vampire means it's spooky. Now it's not that kind of game. You heard me. Yeah I did hear you. I don't know what Gauntlet is. But Vampire Survivor. Hmm. Are you going to be killing vampires, or are you a vampire? Uh, to be honest, I don't know. I know we kill monsters, so I assume we're, you know, champions of light that are killing the dark evil of the world. Okay, okay. Is it, uh, one of those pixel-style horror games? Yeah, it's uh, like an old, 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 very simplistic graphics-looking thing, but it's very catchy, very fun to play, very addictive. All right, well, I trust your judgment. Usually you don't let me down, so help me God, I'll hit you with my ring hand. Well, we don't want that. Oh, I'll do it, boy. Remember, I am the Lord of Darkness. I am God. I can do what I want. <laughs> you little Christian. You're not going to last two seconds against me. Why are you always picking on my religion? I'm just saying, Balmore, you, you, you claim that you're Mr. Christian, but who you fooling? I don't say I'm Mr. Christian. I don't even say I'm a Christian. You just found out what my religion is. I don't throw it in your face. Just being alive throws it in my face, Balamore. You ready to play this? Yeah, I suppose. But so help me God, if you don't die in this game, <laughs> the game developer's going to get it tonight. Well, don't worry. We'll be dying. Yeah, we'll see about that. I hope so, because I'll be real mad. I'll do to you what I did to a whole bunch of souls down in hell earlier. <laughs> oh, I'm a Christian, please. Don't hurt me, Lord Satan. And then I just killed them all. And I resurrected them and did it again. You're real weird. You're real weird. All right. Well, anyways, do you got your popcorn and stuff? Oh, that's right. I got my popcorn with me. Let me sit down here. Let me put a little extra innocent Christian blood on there. <laughs> you don't want to, you know. What do you mean? I'm not calling you Senior Poppy. No, 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 no. I didn't mean that. Maybe you do a little slit in the wrist and spray a little of your Christian blood on here for me. You're real sick. I'm not putting my blood on your popcorn, you weirdo. Fine. I was just trying to mix the blood. Ugh. You're so sensitive. All right. Well, you good? Yeah, I'm good. Let's play this. You better die, boy. I swear. That ring hand needs to get hit. All right, guys. Well, without further ado, let's do this. Okay, so here we are. Up at the top is your currency. So every time you play the game, whether you die or you don't, you get currency up at the top and it just builds up. And what you can do is you can buy abilities. You've got, I mean, there's all sorts of stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start from the top. I'm going to let you guys read the description. So you can pause um, per thing if you want to read the description, but I figured I would do that for you because not everybody that watches my videos has even heard of this game.
Of course, each level costs more coins. So what you're about to see is a character that's pretty decked out for um, starting. And these roguelite games just means every time you die, you can progress a little more. So here's the unlockables. When you start the game, you have zero. So of course, I couldn't help myself. And then as you unlock things, you get abilities. That's why it's so addictive. And then there currently are 88 achievements. I think when I started, there were 82, but then they did an update. So I won't go through all of these, but you know, it tells you what it wants you to do and you just go and do it. It's pretty cool. You can pick a character. I, I can't remember when you start the game. I think there's only like six characters. And as you can see, We've got a whole bunch. This character is a secret character. This one is a secret character. Very hard to get, by the way. And this one is a secret character. There is another... I think there are two more I haven't gotten, but um, I didn't feel the need to go get them. So I think what we'll do is we'll start with the garlic guy, because I like garlic. Garlic is a really cool ability. So then you can pick your level. So here's the levels. Um, when you start, I think this one is, these two might be unlocked. And then this is, these two are not, or maybe only the first one is un unlocked and you have to unlock them, but you have to slowly unlock. And then you get these special bonus stages. And then you have these, um, things down here. So normally nothing is checked, but hyper mode and, um, arcana, you unlock them later and you want them. So what we'll do is we'll start here in the forest. I'll show that off and then we'll go from there. So as of right now, these are the only Arcanas that you are unlocked or available. I should say I've unlocked them all. I haven't played with them all, but I'm going to start with this first one. I think this is like a random one right here, but, um, this one allows us to resurrect, so we're just going to choose that. And there's our character. And as you kill enemies, the little blue bar will fill at the top, which is your experience. You have to collect these little blue gems, you'll see them. But as the time ticks, the enemies just flood in more and more. So we're going to go with garlic again. Just to put a little stronger... That's what that little area around us is, is the garlic. All right, let's go with lightning ring. It'll zap things. And if you pause it, um, you can see items on the map you can go get, your arcana is on the right, and on the left are your stats. And you can see our leveling for our abilities up the top left. Oh, see the lightning go off? So right now we can run right into things. It's really no problem. And the map is huge. Like to move around from item, it would take, it takes a while. Unless you're fast. And the music's cool. I like it. It's catchy. All right. Let's go with uh, uh, more lightning ring, or should we? Yeah, let's go lightning ring. And I don't think we're going to beat these because I'm not really trying. I'm just kind of flying through them. So I really won't care if we die. I'm going to just keep running into things. Now that turkey. Oh, there's an elite. Oh yeah, let's damage him. He can kill you very fast. Oh, see how they're hurting me? Um, duplicator? Not that, I don't, oh yeah, the lightning duplicates. We're gonna die here in a sec. 
And we've got resurrections. Okay, so we just killed them. Let's get more lightning. Ooh, Laurel's good. Their garlic isn't strong enough to kill these things in one hit. And every minute, they're, they're just stronger and stronger and more and more. So the bats are no problem. It's these other guys that'll hurt us until we get a little stronger. All right, what do we want here? Jeez, let's go. Lightning ring. We need garlic or something. The bats, no problem. Those other dudes. Oh, more garlic. And it's RNG too, like what items drop for um, when you level up. So we're gonna duplicate her again. That'll help with our damage. More garlic. Uh, weapon speed. Oh, we got some skelly boys. You can't quite run into them and kill them in one hit. Oh god, an elite. <laughs> I didn't even see that. Alright, we're gonna go with Laurel for a little protection. Or a little more protection. Now oh, we got some help with that one. Oh, more garlic. Ooh, wait. Screw it. Let's just go stronger garlic. Still not enough to one shot those skelly boys. There we go. So you get these chests sometimes when you kill the elites. And it gives you money and an upgrade. So that money will follow us when we die. Now there are like legendary chests. There's two more types. There's one that gives you three things and one gives you five things all at once. So you can become very powerful very, very quickly. Let's go lightning ring again. Oh, we got ghosts. We can kill them in one hit with a garlic. Go garlic again. Oh, we're killing the skellies. See, the skellies die now. Which is good. But they get way more powerful. Ooh, that was kill everything on the screen at once. I like those little necklaces. Ros I think they're called rosaries. Um... We'll go with a holy wand. Okay. Let's 
Let's go with... We should go with a gun. Guns are fun. Oh, we got a wave of enemies. The ring of death. And then we got zombies. Oh, that was an elite right there. Mr. Praying Mantis. Ooh, another garlic. Nice. I still don't think it's going to be enough. Yeah, it's not quite. Let's go garlic again. Why not? This will max out garlic. super gun thing yet. Let's go with more lightning ring. Alright, let's go Bibles. We just need more, like, spell power. Let's grab that. That'll help us level quicker. So we're doing all right, but those bats or gargoyles, those are going to give us a big, big trouble. Ah, uh, here we go. So let's go with... Yeah, let's go with the heart because we can evolve. Now, you see how it has a little symbol of garlic? That means it's going to evolve. And most of the weapons have an evolution, which is like a super, super power-up mode or whatever. So garlic on our next chest is going to become like super garlic. Not sure what that means, but we'll find out together. I think I got it a couple times. I just... I don't normally run with that when I'm doing like a good, good, good build.
So we're doing all right right now. go ahead and get experience yes we want to get this elite killed Ugh, i hate the bats there's gonna be a whole bunch Ooh, too bad we didn't get a chest yeah like they're they're tough these little gargoyle guys are. Ooh, we have an elite coming up. Look at him. He's a big boy. I'm just gonna cut through that. It's a death sentence to be in there. Hopefully he'll give us a chest. It's too bad I don't do way more damage because it's taken a while to get him. All right, ooh, we could go candelabra. Yeah, let's do that. It increases our area. Come on, man. Taking forever to die. Look at this wave. Thank God for garlic. Another elite. We still haven't killed this one. to get the Bibles to evolve too. All right, let's go with more lightning ring. All right, let's go candelabra for a wider area. Guy just doesn't want to die, huh? And a lobber again. There's our chest. All right, give it to me. All right, we got ourselves an evolved weapon. Oh, that's cool. I do remember this. All right. Let's go more experience. And let's go wider area. Oh, wow. Look how wide that is. Oh, we get another Arcana. Yeah, why don't we just go with this one? All right, now we're gonna go. Let's let's go more lightning ring. Is that another elite? Yeah. All right, got a lot of gems here. All right, why don't we go with more Bible? Oh, 
see we got a new enemy. More Bible. Um, what should we do? Let's go more area. More experience. Oh yeah, we're not even like... I don't think we're doing well against those new ones. The bears or whatever they are. Let's go... Speed. And... Let's go speed. Okay, we'll go more... Experience. Now we are killing them, just not really fast. It's kind of cool. It looks like I have a spotlight of darkness on me. That lightning is really helping out too, zapping everything. All right, let's go with more Laurel for protection. Uh-oh, big wave. Thank God we're killing them though. Not very fast. Holy hell. Can we live through this wave? Oh, we got a chest up there I didn't even notice. All right, let's go more speed. I'm. Oh, the one thing I did want I kind of forgot about. Oops. Well, that's all right. This is just our first run. Let's go with more Bibles. Bibles. Oh boy, we got an evolved ring. Oh yeah, look at it. Look at that lightning now. Oh, we got an attract orb. Sucked up all our experience. Let's go Bibles. Bibles again. To see our Bibles going crazy now. And those little gargoyles. Oh, we are killing the gargoyles. Not super fast, but we're killing them. Let's go weapon speed again. Now there are two guns. We're gonna get the guns because the evolved guns are very good. All right. Yeah, let's go more guns. Bibles. I don't think the demons like the Bibles. Uh, let's go for Spellbinder. See, the Bibles help keep the uh, monsters away, too. There's an elite, I think. Yeah, he's not dying fast. Um, more Laurel.
Oh, you know what we should do? Hide our icons. That's better. <laughs> Everything gets pushed. You're nothing. I think this is one of the big boy chests. Get five things. Ooh, we got an evolved Bible now. Cool. You'll see them. See, there they go. Now we have the ultimate Bibles. It's like perfect timing for this because they're starting to get tougher. Get that elite. Come here, elite. There you go. are pretty tough. They're not even dying fast. Alright, let's go more Spellbinder. At least the Bibles are keeping everything away from me with the garlic. Alright, let's go Spellbinder again. Oh, we got mummies. Oh, we're killing them. These guys are very, very durable. I don't think they knock back either. We'll have to uh, keep an eye on them. Let's go more guns. Oh, look at our guns. <laughs> Yeah, the mummies are dying pretty easy. Is that what they are, mummies? You guys can see. I'm the blind guy. No. So we have... What? 12 minutes left on the run at most. And I don't think we're going to do it because our build isn't that strong, believe it or not. There, you can do way more damage than this and you kind of need to. I'm going get, to get that bat down there. Come here, bat. Just sit here a minute. Let the enemy. Oh, I think the next wave is going to be um, plants. I think. fire when you get those gems. It really destroys. See how tough these are? Even the fire doesn't insta-kill them.
we have a really powerful shield. So we can get hit and it doesn't hurt us and it recharges pretty quickly. So it's actually pretty nice to have if you're having a lot of trouble, you know, getting far. Oh, uh, here comes the wave. The bats are no match. See, if you move too fast. Oh my god, there is a big boy. Get the gun on him. That's right, take this gun. the plants 21 minutes now the plants are super slow look at them they are you need a lot of damage and I just don't have it so we're doing all right but we could be doing way better as you can see we should be able to mow through these plants if you want to make it to the 30 minute mark at least maybe we'll get lucky but I don't I don't think we will Arcana. I'm just gonna... Let's see. Yeah, let's go here. Our, we'll get random speed. Look at all the bullets. That's funny. And there's two guns. They, they actually... Oh, that's going crazy right now. A lot of Bible hits. again or whatever they are So we maxed all our abilities out now. So any levels that we get, we can either say we need to get healed or we can get money. Now, if you're wondering why I'm power leveling, I must have gotten there's these red gems and some of them give you makeup levels. So you know it's how I'm missing a lot of gems. They kind of give you makeup levels, which seems to be the case right now. Stronger than some of the elites. A lot of help. All right, we're less than seven minutes. Believe it or not, this is just so addictive. You don't have to do anything. You just have to move. I'm using a controller. 
And you just gotta move the controller joystick around. It's very, very soothing to just slowly play a game, you know, get stronger over time. There's something very addictive about it. See a red gem right there, it might help. Oh, we got a fire gem right there. That'll hurt the plants. I think the plants get gimped hard with that fire. Ah, look how fast our stuff is going. That arcana. Like, there's normal speed right there, but then it goes, like, crazy hyper. Five minutes left and then it's over so we'll die here at the next big wave or um we'll beat it there might be two waves but yeah it, they get real bad so the garlic and the bibles are really really helping us out because we're pushed back oh we got the real tough plants now the blue guys Oh, we're still killing them. It's just real tough. Oh, there's an elite big boy. might take forever to kill. He's a big one. No, he died. No, we got a ring of death. I wonder if he was the boss for it. Garlic and Bible combo. It's quite a combo. Oh, it's a track orb. And we got a necklace at the same time that zapped everything. So what do you think? You think we're going to make it? We have a few uh, resurrections left. starting to get pushed now so we got what two and a half minutes till the very end yeah these are easier than the uh, plants are So now that we're on the final stretch, you're just going to see straight elites. That's why it's going to get extra hard. So hopefully our pushback and everything is enough, but I don't know. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're getting through a little bit. A little bit. Oh, God. There's so many of them, I can't kill them fast enough. That's why moving in a circle helps keep things pushed. See, you can stand still. They slowly get through. The lightning, it really helps, though. See the lightning zapping them. Almost a minute left. going to be another wave that's going to try to push through and kill us because that's how you beat a level 30 minutes oh god they're getting in stop it oh there we go they were getting in real good there he's gonna he's meant to end the level so now that we did 30 minutes he's just gonna keep killing us over he has way too much health unless you know how to kill him yeah he's immune to pushback and everything he's not immune to freezing though There we go, and there's the stats for the run, but we um, successfully did that. And so I hope you guys enjoyed the gameplay. I sure did. I had a lot of fun doing it. This game is just so fun. And hopefully I showed you enough. If I try to explain everything, it's just better figure it out yourself. So I will be doing less explaining next video. I just kind of wanted to give you a feel for it. Oh man, I haven't even thought about it until now. Whoopsies. Satan, what have you thought about the game so far? Well, 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 finally am able to speak my say, huh? What do you mean, speak your say? You finally come to me to ask me what I thought. Yeah. Well, I've given it a little bit, and I think that you are a little bit. Why would you say that I'm a little... Expletive. <laughs> yes, yes, curse, Balamore. Curse. Are you going to kill Dracula, or are you not going to show him off? No, he's not in this. Mm, I don't know about that. Well, there are secret coffins you can find, and you have to be pretty decked out to kill the enemies, and then you can open them, but Dr Dracula is not in there, or Dracula, however you want to say it. Dracula. Sounds more Transylvanian than anything. Dracula, eh. Sounds pretty lame. Dracula is much cooler. Look at him up there. He said, you get onto the screen. Yeah, look at him there. He means business, boy. <laughs> kind of like what I'm going to do to you when you kick it. I'm not dying anytime soon. Well, we'll just have to see about that. Well, anyways, guys, thanks so much for watching. I hope to see you on the next video. Until then, as always, later.